Hey, hey, happy Tuesday. Happy spring, everybody. So I think I figured out, well, I figured out how to do the, what do you call these things? Filters, but I'm not sure if I know how to undo it. So um, how is everybody doing? How's the weather where you are? Um, I am in Las Vegas and it's been a little cool. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sitting outside, but it's not sunny. It's only 5 p.m. here. Uh, we're on Pacific time out here, so it's a little cloudy, cool. It was supposed to get to 70 today, but I don't think it did. So um, I'm gonna take this off. There we go. All right. Hey, how you doing? Yay. Um, so how's everybody doing? I wanted to tell y'all about the um, this thing I discovered. Well, I. I discovered it newly for myself, but it is not a new thing. Down in the south, where I'm from, in case y'all didn't know, <laughs> is uh, iced tea country. Everybody drinks their sweet tea, but you know those things like nest tea and all. They don't. They don't taste like tea. They're like tea flavored Coke. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call them. They're nasty. So my mom had told me about. Um, Milo's tea and I had never heard of it and we were in Walmart and the Milo's lady walked right up to us and let us sample her tea serendipitous right so I learned I learned a thing y'all if you like brewed tea not not like nest tea not like tea from a powder but actual brewed tea but you don't feel like making it Get you Milo's tea. It's really good. It tastes like brute tea. Okay, enough of that nonsense. I want to tell y'all right quick one more thing. Um, I have been using this the thieves the Aroma Silk um, Bath and Shower Gel Base. This stuff is so cool. Um, it's eight ounces. It's sixteen dollars. I'm gonna tell you. I'm fixing to give you a hack, right? So you take a foaming pump like this. This is an eight ounce foaming pump. And you put two tablespoons of the bath and shower base. And then I like mine super moisturizing. So I put two, two droppers full of vitamin E oil, especially while we're here in Vegas, it's so dry here. I actually put three in the one I made to, to use out here. And then to that, I added 10 drops of the Essential Beauty Serum, which uh, you can use this on your face. It's very moisturizing. You can use it on your hair, like as a flyaway. This whole thing's only, it's under $20. I used 10 drops of this, again, because I was trying to make something that was gonna be super moisturizing. And then I did five drops of peppermint, just for the scent, just because my husband loves the scent of peppermint. So 10 drops Essential Beauty Serum, five drops peppermint. Hey, Tammy. Well, I got it backwards. Put that along with two tablespoons of your bath and shower base. You will be able to make about 20 of these out of one of these. Okay. Which means this foaming soap container, you have made this for under a dollar. Now people talk about we're making foaming hand soap. Tammy be on time. Um, People talk about how natural products are expensive, and sometimes they definitely are. But our products are so concentrated that you can get so much use out of them. So for under a dollar, you're making this foaming soap. I know, I'm just teasing, you know I am. Um, under a dollar, I'm making this foaming soap dispenser. You can put one in every room of your house. You can add whatever essential oils you want. If you want it in your kitchen, maybe you want to make sure you're getting your hands good and clean after you're handling raw meat. I would put thieves in that one. Um, the one I keep in my bedroom as my hand soap, my bathroom, has patchouli in it because y'all know, hey Tina, y'all know I'm a patchouli addict. So, um, I keep patchouli in mind. Also, patchouli, in addition to the fact that it smells amazing, is great for the skin and it's moisturizing. So you can scent it however you want. I love that it's unscented. Now, Young Living does make scented bath ones. They have the Morning Start, and that's got lemongrass and some other scents. I sent out a lot of, um, to, to a lot of y'all have gotten samples of the Morning Start 
bath gel. So it's basically the same exact thing, but they add their essential oils to it. This one is cheaper because there's no essential oils added to it. And then you get to pick your own. You can, like I said, you can put a different scent in every room of your house or change it up every time you make it. All right, my last thing I want to remind y'all of before I get to talking about what I'm gonna talk about is Shamrock Bingo. Who's doing it? Give me a thumbs up if you're doing it. I'm doing it. As you can see, <laughs> I've been checking off my own. What have y'all been doing towards your Shamrock Bingo? Don't forget about it. Check off this stuff. It's so easy to get something free. I don't want y'all to miss out. You do need to be keeping up with your own. You do need to be putting your dates on when you're check marks. And, um, oh, there's some thumbs. Yay. <laughs> and uh, you do need to submit that to me by April 5th. So wait through the end of the month, obviously. Do all the things before the end of the month. And then get it to me. Wow, Tammy, that's awesome. 12, woohoo. Uh, you've been working. So get those to me before April 5th. You do not have to physically send me the thing. You can take a picture of yours and text it to me or message it to me or post it in the group. So that's Shamrock Bingo. If anybody has any questions about it, if you're confused about something, please ask me. Don't, don't miss out because you didn't understand something. Tina, you have eight. That's awesome. Awesome. I love it. Y'all keep, keep doing those. So here's what I want to talk about today. Thieves household cleaner. Have anybody, are y'all using those? Yes. I use my thieves household cleaner top to bottom, front to back in my house. Everything from the ceiling to the floor and everything in between bathroom to kitchen and all the stuff in between. Thieves household cleaner is a plant-based cleaner. It is non-toxic. Okay, Tammy, you want me to explain what a compliant picture is? Okay, so us being, um, where we're talking about being compliant means that we are not claiming to cure or treat or diagnose anything. None of us are doctors and our oils are not regulated by the FDA, which is great. We don't want them to be, <laughs> but we need to be careful in our wording of what we post on social media. So instead of saying such and such a thing um, had, you know, cures whatever, then you would say this oil helps keep such and such healthy. So we're just, it's just a wording. That's what compliance means. If anybody has any more specific questions, let me know. Cause it can be a little tricky, but once you understand what it is, it's, it's easy. It's an easy workaround. So the Thieves Household Cleaner, yes, Tina, I saw you said you share it too. I agree, I do too. It is so fabulous, it's so versatile. I love that I have one product that does everything. It contains the power of Thieves Essential Oil Blend, plus it has extra lemon for the scent and for the cleaning power. If you, <coughs> if you don't like the scent of Thieves or if you like another scent stronger, you can add more oils to it. I know a lot of people are used to using like a pine type cleanser. Well, you can add pine. You can add some of the evergreens oil to it. Right, Tammy used it in her furniture polish that she talked about. I forgot about that. Yeah, that stuff was awesome. It is, it can be used on any surface of the foot on your home. It has no poison control warning on it. Open up your kitchen cabinet or wherever you keep all your cleaners and read the back of it. I just dare you. And think about if your child got a hold of that. Look at all of these kids getting sick with the silly Tide Pod thing. So if you drank Thieves Household Cleaner, you wouldn't get sick. You wouldn't die. Your stomach might feel a little puny because it's pretty concentrated, but you're not gonna die. In fact, um, I know someone whose daughter drank Thieves Household Cleaner directly from the um, container and she panicked and called poison control and they had her, even though it didn't have a warning, she wanted to be safe. And I totally understand. I have a child. I would have done the same thing. She called the poison control center and they had her read them all the ingredients and none of it was toxic. They said, yeah, have her drink a little extra water just to dilute it. Yes, Tammy accidentally drank it too. So she has a personal testimony. She took a big swig of it on accident because she didn't know what it was. It was in an unmarked jar. So there's another note, y'all mark your jars. But if you don't and you accidentally drink some Thieves Household Cleaner, well, guess what? You're gonna be fine. Here's another thing that I like. 
when I mop with it, I, I have inside cats. I know a lot of y'all have inside pets, dogs or other pets. And so think, they're walking on the floors all the time and then they're grooming themselves. They're laying on your floors and they're grooming themselves. Everything you have put on your floor or in your air, your animals are ingesting. And do you want them ingesting the stuff that you just read on the back of your cleaner bottle? I don't. What about your kids? Um, how about being able to give your, your young kids some household duties? Give them some chores, hand them a bottle of thieves and tell them to go wipe the counters or something and you don't have to worry that they're going to get sick if they accidentally ingest it or that the fumes are gonna overwhelm them. I used to clean my, I have a jacuzzi tub and I used to clean it with a cup of bleach and a dishwashing tablet. The fumes would be so strong in there that it would make me nauseate. I mean, I would have to leave the room and leave like the air running, the fan running, just to get the fumes out of there. Can you imagine what that was doing to our bodies? Now, I use a couple cap full of Thieves cleaner and a squirt of Thieves dish soap, and boom, that's how I, that's what I run through my jacuzzi. It's basically self cleaning, and it's not toxic. And honestly, I don't even rinse it out after it's done because I'm not worried about it. But that's just me. I'm not suggesting you do that. But you don't have to wear a mask and you don't have to wear gloves. It's not going to hurt you. Now, there's a lot of confusion about dilution of thieves. And I understand that because there are so many... Um, Yes, Tina, that is true. I walk barefoot all the time. Um, so, I mean, I don't lick my feet like my cat does, but um, I don't think I could. But anyway, oops, sorry, y'all. I'm outside. <laughs> um, I think there's a plane landing on the roof. So anyway, um, yes, that is a great point. And another, another point is you spray bleach stuff or toxic clean or whatever it is on your kitchen countertops, and then you put your food on there. I mean that's disgusting. You know, I don't I don't know, I don't know why people do it. Okay, I'm back to back to dilution. I know it can be confusing, but I don't want y'all to get an, uh paralysis by analysis. Don't overthink it. You're not going to hurt anything. You just want to use dilution to maximize your money that you're spending because again, sometimes natural products can be expensive, but if you dilute properly, it, the Thieves Household Cleaner ends up being cheaper than even cheap toxic household cleaners and way cheaper than the ones that are called natural. So here's the dilution. I'm going to type this in the comments too. It's 1 to 30 for just your everyday household cleaning. So 1 ounce of Thieves Cleaner to 30 ounces of water. I actually have this big spray bottle that I bought a pack of six from Sam's for five dollars at this big spray bottle and I put one ounce it's a 32 ounce spray bottle so I put one ounce of thieves and the rest water and then I have my just general I call it light duty cleaning countertops and tables and just outside furniture and just everyday normal stuff you need to wipe down and clean now I have another one that I have double that uh, ratio well, I don't know if that's how you say it. One to 15 would be heavy duty cleaning or degreasing. So I have another 32 ounce bottle that I have two capfuls of Thieves Cleaner in and it's I have it labeled heavy duty. So when I need to clean my stove, inside of the microwave got stuff popped on it, um, more heavy duty thing, things that are really grimy, spray that on. Glass and mirrors, one ounce of Thieves Cleaner to 50 to 100 ounces of water. So in my 32 ounce spray bottle, I have half an ounce of Thieves Household Cleaner for glass and mirrors and also floors. When I mop, I have one of those mops that's kind of like a Swiffer, but you put your own stuff in the reservoir. My mom actually told me about it, so I went and got it. And I use two tablespoons of my diluted cleaner and the rest water. That's how much dilution you need for mopping your floors. I've heard people say that they mop their floors with the thieves and it looks streaky. Well, here's the thing. More is not better with thieves household cleaner. More is just more and it's just wasteful. And it will make your, your 
item streaky. So if you feel you're, if you find you're using it on your glass or on your floors and it's streaky when you're done, it's because you need more water or less Thieves Household Cleaner. For your glass um, spray bottle, you can also add a teaspoon of vinegar if you want. You can add some citrus fresh or some other, you know, smelling good essential oils that you want in there. You can also put it undiluted in a little roller bottle, like those little 10 milliliter roller bottles that I sent y'all. You can just fill one of those with Thieves Household Cleaner and use it as a stain stick. So if something drips on your clothes but you're not ready to go wash right away, roll a little bit of that over your um over the stain and leave it sit and then when you're ready to wash it you can just wash it it's um it's pretty amazing now another good thing about the thieves <laughs> and was what prompted me to talk about it more today is that at 250 pv order this month you're getting thieves for free and you're getting a 16 ounce spray bottle with it for free and it's a fancy spray bottle it says thieves on it i can't wait to get mine i'm so excited <laughs> so you can get it for free this month. If you don't get it for free, or if you just wanna buy it, here's the cost. They have it in two sizes. You can get a 14.4 ounce for $22.50. That works out to $1.56 an ounce. Now remember I told y'all, in my regular everyday duty cleaner, I'm using one ounce to 32 ounces of water, which means that costs $1.56 for a 32 ounce spray bottle, and a 32 ounce spray bottle is this tall. It's big. It makes a lot of cleaner for $1.56. You're not gonna get, you can go to the dollar store and buy some toxic thing and it's gonna cost double that. And if you look at the ones that call themselves natural, they're gonna be three or four or five times that. You can also get it in a 64 ounce size, which is what I do, because I realize it's more expensive in the short run, but it's cheaper in the long run and I'm all about really saving money where I can. So the 64 ounce is $87.75. Now these are wholesale prices I'm talking about, $87.75. And these are the prices that members pay. So y'all are members and that's the price you pay, wholesale price. $87.75 for a 64 ounce bottle of Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate is $1.37 an ounce. Okay, $1.37 makes you a 32 ounce bottle. Most people are using a 16 ounce bottle, so that means it's what, 70 cents, 68, 69 cents for a 16 ounce spray bottle of all natural plant-based, but super effective household cleaner. It's just, you can't get any brighter than that. There is more information in the Young Living website. There's a product booklet and some other stuff. I will post links to those things in my, um, in the comments of this so that you guys can check it out, read some more about it. And if anybody has any other questions, please let me know and I will give y'all back your evening. Thank you to everybody who joined me. I always like it when I don't feel like I'm talking to myself and I hope that you guys have a happy first day of spring and have a great week.